tank painted and, up and uh, burner fitted back on. Um, I had to buy a new one of, I managed to find a new one of these online because that had all broken the um, fuel gauge cap had all rusted right through but I managed to find one of those online and I will put uh, links to all the firms that I bought spares from this heater from. Um, it's had a jolly good clean up the top half so I've not painted that. It's only the tank that's been painted. Um, one important thing is that when you do fit a new wick in these heaters very importantly you want to let it soak uh, obviously when you've put the wick in and then you fill it up with paraffin fill it you know put a gallon of paraffin in there make sure it's well well filled and then leave it for at least an hour I would say two three or four hours I filled this up this morning um, so this has perhaps been you know six or seven hours now um, before I first light it you really want to let the paraffin soak into that that new wick um, otherwise the you can burn the wick and, and damage the wick so um, I'll lift the cover up now and I normally stick it up there and um, I don't know where I'm going to put the camera down he says hmm. um, I'll, I'll come back I'll light it up and I'll come back so there we go, I've, I've lit the wick and um, I just normally let it, you know, sort of get going a bit and then before, obviously before this chimney gets too hot, um, just drop it back down and um, I've let it till dusk so hopefully you might see and there we go, just let the wick flame all join up so that you've got a complete circle and then just gently turn your wick winder up and that's that's how a blue flame heater should burn that's on obviously on a quite a low setting and that's a perfect blue flame there's no yellow showing uh, no spikes of yellow and um, that's the perfect low setting what i would say also with these is um light it then turn it down to your desired temperature but then about half an hour later just come and check it again because often the flame does get a little bit bigger uh, as I think as the heater heats up and yeah the flame heats them you know it tends just to get the, the flame gets a, a touch bigger so you might you know want to just turn it down a little bit more um, see if we if we turn that down and then that, that that's wrong where it's flashing yellow you can see that so you just want to turn it up till that stops and that's the lowest setting um, if we turn it up that's a nice high setting uh, there again don't worry about the orange that's that's okay if it burns like that it's when you see a yellow flame that orange is fine um, no problem at all so there we go the you know it's um, hopefully got a number of years left in it this heater now and um, I'm really pleased how it's turned you know um, consider it's not been used for a number of years um, hopefully it'll go on certainly this year and um, probably a few few more years considering it's probably 30 years old already as I've had it um, at least 22 23 and it, it was um, old stock it's been in a box um, in, a, in a hardware shop I think somewhere when I bought it in about I think it was 98, 99 or even 2000 I can't quite remember but um, I'm not sure when these were stopped went out of production but they haven't been made for many years now this um, series 22 Aladdin greenhouse heater I just thought I'd end this video with a, a few pictures from the uh, Aladdin greenhouse heater series 22 operating instructions book um, it there again it might help a few people if you've got these or you're you've bought one or you're looking to buy one and um, by the way if anybody wants a copy of the operating instructions these are very basic heaters and I'm sure probably you 
you know, you could all get your head around it pretty quickly and it's pretty straightforward. But if anyone would like a copy of the operating instructions um, in the UK, I'll willingly um, uh, photocopy my, uh, I've still got the original book, little booklet that came with mine, and these are where these pictures come from, I'll willingly photocopy it and um, send you a copy of that. Um, if you'd just, in the description below, if you'd ask me and get back to me and I'll, I'll come back to you and um, happy to do that if anybody's interested in that. Um, as I say, I rate these heaters. Um, the two inch wick, the, the, the two inch wick burner size, should be enough to easily heat an 8x10 size greenhouse. Uh, it easily heats my 8x8 greenhouse, so anything smaller. I mean, I think even if you had a large polytunnel and you just wanted to keep the frost off, um, one of these would be ideal. I mean, I'm not sure how they'd work if you put one of those little... Um, wood burner fans on top of them that's perhaps something I'll try this year I'll probably buy one of those cheap little wood burner fans and stand on top of the heater and um, see if that distributes the air about but I'm, I'm sure they would keep the frost off even a quite a large polytunnel um, unfortunately like all fuels paraffin has got expensive and can be hard to find but there is still um, you still can have it delivered you can even buy it on eBay and have it delivered in 20 litre drums um, and if you don't want the hassle of electricity or Calagas um, you know it's still a good fuel for a smallish greenhouse to just heat it occasionally when there's a chance of frost and you've got tender plants in there so certainly worth thinking about and these blue flame heaters are the best. I've, I've tried many other heaters and nothing in my view comes anywhere near these because they're so simple to use, um, you know, virtually bomb proof in operation, you know, um, very basic, uh, yet it's a good clean uh, heat with, with very little smell, which is what I like about it. Um, so as I say, if you would like uh, a copy of the instructions, just put me a message down in the comments and I'm sure I'll be able to sort something out and photocopy mine. Um, or as I say, if you want to read these, I think hopefully the text will be quite clear and if you um, you know, stop the video at the point, you might even be able to read these. Um, so it's very basic stuff. And um, I will put the very last um, picture coming up is a I believe it's a 1971 when this model was released an ad and that gives uh, things like how long they'll burn for on a tank um, the tank holds a gallon of paraffin by the way and I think the two inch wick will burn for something like 27 hours on a gallon of paraffin um, but on the last picture coming up there will be some stats if you want to pause that and have a look. Obviously the price, don't go on the price because the price <laughs> relates to I think 1971 or 72 and I, I wish paraffin was still that cheap. But um, as always, thanks for watching. I hope some of you might have found this of interest. Obviously I realise this video is only of interest if you're looking or you have one of these videos or you're looking perhaps to heat your greenhouse and you're looking at ideas of what is out there. So as always, thanks for everybody uh, for watching. Please do comment, subscribe, like, and um, I'll see you in a future video. And um, thanks to everybody again.